Hello, Jen Tozer, your portfolio manager here to talk about financial plans and how you know you have a good financial plan. So of course, I'm going to talk about how you know you don't have a good financial plan. If someone does a lot of work and hands you a 50 page document and all you can understand is a number on the last page, that's not very good. You should be able to understand your financial plan and you should be able to read it and compare where you're at to where it tells you that you should be. The second issue I see often when I'm doing financial planning is that people focus on what the program wants to focus on. We're able to focus on what the client wants to focus on. So I'm not going to spend any time telling you how much money you can save if all you really care about today is what do I do when my mortgage renews at these higher rates? How much money do I put on it? What payments do I make? What's the right choice? We're going to start there because until we can get that off your mind, we're not going to be able to move on to the next portions. The third thing you want to look at in your financial plan when you're evaluating, is it any good? Does it make sense? I have talked to clients who've watched their portfolio, you know, modestly increase over time and someone hands them a financial plan and says, wow, you know, when you die, you're going to have 14 million bucks. And they're looking at it saying, well, I don't know how that makes sense. I certainly don't have, you know, 10 million bucks today. And I don't know how come my growth rate's going to go like this to this once I'm in retirement, considering I'm not working anymore. So if it doesn't make sense, then it's probably not right. There's going to be an error in the assumptions. And one of the things I see commonly that's an error in assumptions with financial planning is that there's an assumption that it's always going to be, you know, 6% rate of return and it's a straight line. Watch out for that. Okay. That could be a bit of an issue. And the final thing I would tell you that when you're doing a financial plan is make sure you revisit it. Things change. My favorite one that changes, I call it income creep. As you make more money, you tend to have more expenses. Well, guess what that means? It means you now need to save more money. So you need help with a financial plan? Give us a call. We're here.